Hey guys, Drone Vlogs here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome in general. Um, today we are going to be talking about Doctor Who. If you haven't already seen by the uh, oh, title of the video, um, if you see me looking down at any pun point, uh, I have a piece of paper here with a few uh, things uh, I couldn't quite stick in my brain before I started recording. So I apologise in advance for that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, crack on. Um, as you should probably know, I am Welsh, or more commonly known around the world, British. And there's a very common fact that we British people love Doctor Who. It It's what we live for, you know. I think we're actually uh, bringing in the death penalty for people who don't watch the show. Um, so if you're one of those people, just, just, just watch it. Stay safe. Because if one of your neighbours finds out you don't watch it, you better believe they're snitching. I've seen it happen before. It's no joke. It's no joke. You're, you're at least looking at uh, five years for just that little crime. So, yeah. Just watch out for yourselves. Um, <laughs> but, um, right. First thing uh, I'm going to bring up is a little fact that I found out earlier. Uh, it was the first time I've actually ever seen this fact. Uh, it's about uh, the old Doctor Who episode, you know, like William Hartnell and all that stuff. Um, so it's uh, no surprise I didn't know this because I haven't actually found a way of watching it. So if you guys have a way, please please let me know. I'm, I'm desperate at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, let, let's crack on. Uh, as you all should know anyway, uh, if you watch the show, uh, the first episode, uh, An Unearthly Child, was aired in 1963. Now that's not the only fact that I want to talk about. Um, this episode was actually aired the day after the JFK shooting in America. Which, when I found that out, it was just like... <sighs> mind blown, you know. Um... <clears throat> But due to this, uh, the ratings uh, went down for that airing. Um, this wasn't the only reason. Uh, they uh, suffered a few power cuts in the UK. So uh, that mixed with that is uh, no good for them. Uh, so what they done, they actually aired the same episode the following week. Um, I don't know if it was exactly before or a, a couple of hours before that they uh, ended up airing it uh, just before the second episode of it the following week um, so you know making up for lost views and give people a chance to actually uh, not get over fa the fact of the JFK incident but uh, deal with it in the wrong way sort of thing because uh, after because uh, I know uh, oh god I, I've stuttering bad today I'm sorry guys uh, <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today um, but obviously, that incident shocked a lot of people, not just in America, but all around the world, including the UK. So that was one of the main reasons we did end up airing it the next week. Um, now, the next fact I found, which is also weird, uh, not weird, but I found it weird when I first uh, read it. Um, you know the TARDIS? You know, you know, big blue box? That cost £4,328 to make. Now, that's a lot of money for just a box and the rooms inside the box. I mean, well, obviously it would be its sets in it, but just imagine how much we would have to use today. Imagine how much it would cost with all of the... Uh, oh, fuck. Equipment we'd need to use... Uh, because we're obviously expanding on the TARDIS every day. It's infinite space inside that TARDIS, basically. So we're always looking for ways to show off different rooms, different areas of the place. And it's honestly astonishing. But Jesus Christ, it must cost them a fortune. It's just... wow. Uh, <laughs> um, a reason I actually uh, wanted to talk about Doctor Who today is because um, it's not actually that long in retrospect until the new season comes out, which is going to be autumn of this year, which I honestly can't wait for it to come out. Um, I've been waiting for it. Well, I've, everyone's been waiting for ages, but 
won't have to wait that much longer. I can't wait for the series. I know there's been a lot of backlash for the female lead, Georgie Whittaker. Now, I don't see the problem with having a female doctor. Because there is no problem, in my opinion. She's a good act. She's a great actor, actually. Uh, I've seen a lot of her performances. I'm pretty sure she's in Broadchurch as well. Um, that's the show David Tennant stars in. And it's phenomenal. It's great. So I see no problem with her actually being the Doctor, as long as they can make it work. Now that goes for anyone who plays the Doctor, not just females. As long as they can make it work and make it believable, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Um, a little fact for all of you people who uh, disagree with the fact about a female lead. I bet you didn't know, but in the 1980s, they were actually thinking about bringing in a female doctor. Now, I actually had to write this one down as well because I kept on forgetting the name. This isn't the first time I've tried recording this. Um, in the 1980s, um, obviously, viewings were going down for quite a bit. So, one of the co-creators of the BBC, Sidney Newman, suggested that the BBC should consider a female lead, which I think is amazing. You know, it was something that could perk up the audience um, but apparently today's society does not think so and if you're wondering uh, what I'm playing with it's uh, my sonic screwdriver it's uh, been uh, revealed that I'm actually going to be the next doctor you heard it here first um, but yeah that just about does it for this uh, vlog today um, yeah basically it. Uh, also a little bit of a shout out uh, to Papa Johnny. Um, I know he uploaded a QA and a today and he said some very nice things about me and my channel. So thank you so much. Uh, there'll be a link uh, below to his channel below. I said that so weirdly. Uh, there'll be a link to his channel below. <laughs> we all got it right. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys. See you tomorrow.